I'm going to portal.azure.com. So first what I'm going to do, I'll go and create the Azure service bus. For that I'll just search it here. I'll type service bus and I'm getting the options. I'll click on the service bus. Then I need to click on create. For the service bus, first we have to create the namespace. Basically it's a container under which we can create a, either a queue as a service bus or as a topic as in service bus. So we have to fill certain details. First is a resource group. I will say learn service bus resource group okay then namespace we will be creating the queue so i'll say service bus queue and then location i'll just say east us 2 pricing tier now it is very important so there are set of available tiers which azure has provided you can go with anyone so the price range varies for each and every tier and it just for the operations and type of services we will be getting standard is something which suffice our need so i'll go and click for the standard one click on advance it will just ask you for the tls version 1.2 is the latest we'll go with that connectivity public access we want it tags if you want to add you can just add a tag here no we are good click review plus create it will just go and validate the information which you have provided and then click on create so the resource is created let me click on go to resource and it will take me to the namespace which we have just created so service bus q2 and under that you can see there are various options which we are getting now on here on the top you can see q topic you can delete if there is anything is created right now we don't have anything so also it shows us various graphs like request if we have any or messages if we have any and below that also it will show us the name if we're going to create queues or topics and on the left side panel it also give us the options like shared access policies how we want to go and what accesses we want to generate for the queue and topic basically the connection strings here we can get a geo recovery it means in case one of the service bus get fails you should have a, another backup as in the disaster recovery planned you can migrate anytime from the service bus which from the tier which you have selected to the another tier you can go for the encryption you can have your settings here in the configurations and then there are queues and topics it is similar to what it is showing here the queue and topics you can just go and create that and then is the monitoring which this service provides so these are the set of features which are available under service bus namespace